Good afternoon. I am Thomas with Believe in the Run, and this is my good friend. Robbie with Believe in the Run. A little louder. Robbie with Believe in the Run. Very good. And this is a Nike Pegasus Turbo Deuce. Two. Elephant in the room is I really wasn't a fan of the Nike Turbo, and this one was the Pegasus 35 Turbo, but I wasn't a real big fan of this. Why weren't you a fan of that, Thomas? Oh, I'll tell you, Robbie. First off, aesthetically, I thought it looked awesome, but I think my expectations for what we were going to get out of the shoe was a fast, really fast trainer, somewhat like the Vaporfly because it has that Zoomax in it and the React foam and they were calling it the Turbo. They were marketing it with rockets. I'm gonna be honest, when I saw the Turbo, I was thinking Fast and the Furious, Nas, press that button, Paul Walker. Yeah. Instead it was like But they made a big improvement and impressed me with this. And I didn't think they would because you know why, Robbie? Why? The midsole, outsole is identical to this shoe. There's right. no changes. It is the same, so why would I even like this shoe a little bit? And it all comes down to the upper. You wanna tell them what you don't like about the upper? Well, I'll tell them what I do like about the upper. Sounds good. Sounds good. Do you want me to start with what I don't like? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Sorry. So we'll just go right into it. The upper is much improved. They got rid of the stripe, which looks amazing on the shoe, but serves no purpose other than to irritate your toes. I didn't like the stripe, by the way, but whatever. Yeah, but you know, Robbie's not into bowling. So the one ply upper breathes really nice. It might be two ply. It might be a two ply. It's a two ply upper. Nice and breathable, lighter. The shoe is lighter. I forget how much it weighs, but I've got a scale. We can figure that out. The shoe is lighter than this one, and it just feels less clunky because of the upper. You don't have so much padding around the ankle. Little bit of padding here on just the heel. Just a little bit. Doesn't affect the Achilles, rolls through nice. The upper fits well. The lacing is nice. The tongue is super thin, but... I didn't love the tongue because I like my gussets. I need my gussets. I like it. just securing the tongue on both sides, keeping it there in place. Yeah, and just, this one certainly like puckers. It. This one does pucker. It does pucker. Anyway, the upper made this shoe much more tolerable for me. I liked it a lot better in this edition. The thing that also set me apart was the expectation. I was no longer thinking, hey, this is gonna be a rocket. What this is, is it's a really light Pegasus. Yeah, that's basically what it comes down to. If you were expecting to be a rocket or that turbo boost like, you, like we were talking about, it is gonna be, like you said, a, a little bit of a better Pegasus. Um, has a nice drive, but it's not explosive. Yeah, so a lot like the Pegasus, lighter. And that's where I found that I like this. This was, for me, a good daily trainer that I could pick up the pace in, but wasn't expecting to be racing in the shoe or running super fast tempo runs. I mean, I did one with Meg where we were going and trying to keep some miles at, at a faster race pace, and the shoe held up well for me on that. It felt great under my feet. The turnover was nice and easy, but it just doesn't have the pop and spring that, say, like a Vaporfly has. Right, I agree. So, I gave this one a no. You're gonna see it has fly wire, has this funky mesh on the outside, the stripe on the toe. This one's smooth, nicer upper, lighter shoe overall. Just feels less clunky, goes through the stride better. I mean, you ran some miles in it. What did you think of the stride? I thought the ride was nice. It wasn't crazy responsive, but like you said, it was just like a nice daily trainer and it got me through my miles. Um, if you're looking for more stability underfoot, might wanna look somewhere else, this thin. Yeah, I agree with you on that, but I did feel like after a few miles, it kind of breaks in. This is one shoe that breaks in over miles. Yeah, and I feel like you do get used to it. I know I had a problem with the Epic Reacts with that, like rolling my ankles. And like, I feel like once you kind of get used to it, then it becomes more of a natural, natural shoe for you. Yeah, this one isn't one that, I think I liked it out of the box, but even the more miles I put on it, the more I like the shoe. And I think you'll feel the same if you get this shoe. So we're gonna stop now. We're gonna measure it, weigh it and then tell you how much it weighed. It's a 10 millimeter drop. Can you grab the scale? Yeah. Okay, it's 8.15 ounces. 8.15, somebody can remember that. Mm -hmm. And then grams, is that grams? Can you see that? That's milliliters. <laughs> it's 231 milliliters. What's that one? Wait, are milliliters and grams the same? No. <laughs> it is 231 grams. Dude, metric system, that's where it's at. So comparatively, Pegasus Turbo 2 weighs 
0.15 ounces and 231 grams or milliliters. Yeah, <laughs> apparently. Versus 246 grams. Change that unit up, Thomas. Is that, am I on the right one? Sure, yeah. 8.68 ounces. There you so go. it isn't like a huge weight difference. No, but it's definitely because of that upper, for sure. Yeah, I mean, this was just clunky. It had the big puffy tongue, yeah. all that stuff. But I don't know, I dug it this time around. I find it to run true to size, if yeah. not even a little big. Definitely, I agree. Yeah, so check it out. Nike Pegasus Turbo Dose. Now, how do people how do people stay in touch with us, Robbie? Oh, you can, just, hmm, you can do this. Mm -hmm. I forgot we were doing a video review. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Instagram, and like us on Facebook. Bang boom. And check us out on the drop live Fridays at 1 p.m. Yeah, always. Yeah, there's been some technical difficulties, but we're nailing them down. And then you can cash you us outside. Boom. Oh, shit. <laughs> mm. I just have to talk into your chest. <laughs> Is that rain? No, that was a mouse. All right. Deuce. Double deuce. That would be 22. Yeah. If someone asks you if they can go two in your house, tell them no. Not good. No. But this, this one's good. Sometimes it is good, though. No, it wasn't that right now. <laughs> we are now into bathroom politics, and this <laughs> review, we're going to tell you don't let anybody use your bathroom for. Yeah. Don't let Not me. this guy. <laughs> He'll eat all your toilet paper. Yeah. Um, all right.